Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Mars and or Logan and today I have a class setup video for you guys. So, first off, before you guys do anything at all, you need to go ahead and push start. Go to your options. This is the best sniping class setup by the way. I'm telling you, this is like a must that you guys need to do this. So, you want to go over to, first off, film game. Turn it down all the way. It just makes the game look a lot better. As you can see on screen, you can see the difference between it. Personally, I think it looks way better without it. Uh, turn off weapon and world motion blur. That is like obvious. Editors just don't like it. It just makes it look a lot better, honestly. Editors do not want motion blur on any of it because they can add it personally to like, if they want motion blur, they can add it into their edit. So it's like, there's no point in having, you know what I mean? Uh, so just make sure that you guys disable those. And then after that, uh, there's a secret setting that is over here. You guys can mess with all of this. Personally, I don't play with vibration, but you guys can mess with all of this. Uh, I play on standard aim assist, but it's this right here. This is the secret setting that barely anybody knows about. But I, uh, so pretty much the two difference between these settings is standard and linear is that standard is like the new play style that they're trying to have where it's like you, your weapon. So like whenever you turn your weapon, it's like usually on Call of Duty, it's all based off of the gun. The gun is the center of attention. So when you turn it, the gun turns instantly, right? So with the standard mode, it goes from when you turn your body, oh, I didn't mean to do that. When you turn your body, uh, your gun like has a sway to it. So it's like a very, very tiny, tiny delay. Like I wouldn't even say a millisecond. It's just like you turn your body and then your gun kind of like sways. It's, it's really weird how it works, but that's standard. If you want to play more like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 is this, it feels just like it when you play on linear. Uh, so definitely huge difference. You guys can test it out in game try it out see which one you like better personally linear is for me because it's direct it's right away it even says aim sticks map directly to aim rate so it's like right when it does it it's like i said it's just it's weird but just trust me test it out it'll make the world a difference and it's amazing so now we're going to be getting into your weapon let uh load out thing by the way if you guys are wondering a little secret uh as you can see my classes are colored uh the way that you do that is you rename it and once it pops up, you just push this little uh, up icon and then a number and zero through nine have different colors. I don't know exactly what number is what color, but I will say that you guys can just test it out for yourself. Choose which colors you like. Little cool secret. I'm pretty sure they made this because, you know, Mono Warfare 2 had the colored uh, class thing, which was really cool. So I, I'm, I'm glad they had that. It's just a little cool side effect thing that they have. But so now we're getting into the sniping uh, class up. So right now, the highest level you can achieve is level 20. That is well, uh, the level weapon, or I can't even talk. The sniper weapon level cap and the actual level cap in general in the game. Uh, so once they raise it, there's going to be different things. But I will say that uh, I recommend running EOD, which uh, makes that you reduce damage from like uh, explosives and whatnot, because there is a lot of claymores, a lot of nades that get thrown. All that stuff and it's crazy so i definitely recommend that ghost is just like a must you need to run ghost absolutely because trust me it just it helps i really wish there was a dead silence perk but unfortunately there isn't now this is where you can personally choose what you'd like uh i would say if you want the best possible thing i would run battle hardened just because it makes it so that uh this is actually what i was running uh, i don't know why i had amp amped on but this will make it so that you reduce flash stuns and EMP effects, which by the way, there's a lot of flash bangs thrown in this game. I'm pretty sure if you guys have been playing, you already know that. So um, when Dead Silence comes out, I might be putting this on though. This is the thing that I'm uh, thinking about doing. I don't know, we'll see. It's gonna be a lot, but um, Syntex, these tacticals don't really matter. I run just the Desert Eagle. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you run. Now we're gonna get into the big thing, which is the sniper. So I'm gonna reset this because this is not what I was actually running. So um, this is all really personal preference, but one thing that I know is a must because right now I'm like 95% sure that you cannot hit a collateral. And if you do, it's very lucky because like the other person has to be hurt. But I have tested it so many times where I, sh I, I haven't gotten to like do a 100% test, but I, anytime I've shot a collateral, I have hit markered. So at least for right now, until we know, like just for you guys, for your sake, like in case you get that quad lineup, just put on FMJ. It's not, sleight of hand, it's fine. We're used to not using sleight of hand in certain games, 
Black Ops 2 didn't have a slide of hand because uh, everyone ran extended mag instead of you know fast mag. So it's whatever. Just trust me. Until we figure it out, until we can confirm it, just run FMJ, get those collaterals. Because if you get a triple lineup, quad lineup, and you hit marker, you're going to be triggered. Already happened to me. I got a triple lineup, hit marked it, was very triggered. So uh, personally, I like to run extended mag, just extra ammo, especially if you're not going to be running fast mag. So run extended mag. Uh, so pretty much all, there's all these little perks that are on every single gun. You want to run like what's going to make your gun faster. Um, so there's like, I don't know, things are kind of weird right now. Uh, obviously what you're going to want is short barrel, but that's not out right now. So when that does come out, and we'll also see, maybe they'll raise the weapon level cap to level 30. So hopefully they'll add other stuff too. Reduce flinch is hopefully going to be a perk that they will have either in the game or a gun perk or some sort of way. So hopefully that'll be in here as well. But for right now, uh, I would say run, uh, rear grip cause that's going to up your aim down sight speed. Um, then we will run, I think it is, uh, yeah, heavy stock as well. And then, uh, you should run heavy. It says, see, it's really weird because it says aim down sight speed slower, but it actually makes it faster. It's kind of weird. I don't know why it says that, but it actually, it's, it's like a weird glitch right now. I'm pretty sure you guys saw like Pomage's video about it or someone's video about it, but it's a weird glitch. It's actually not making it that much slower. Uh, I mean, you can test it out if you want, but I'm pretty sure it, it, it doesn't change anything. So, um, I would just run it just cause, uh, I, like I said, I, it doesn't, for some reason it makes it faster. It's opposite. I don't know why it says that it lowers it, but it makes it faster. I don't know. It could be fixed now, but if it is fixed, just take it off. You know, we'll, we'll wait till we get short barrel. That's going to be coming out soon. Once they raise the weapon, uh, level weapon cap i can't even talk but if not then just run if you really want to make sure you're good just run an optic you can run one of those personally i don't like the optics or you can just run this for uh crouch stability or something like this that doesn't lower your aim down sight speed doesn't matter anything you want to run just run it but uh i would say these are the must these four things right here for now uh until we get to see what the actual sniper rate provides but hopefully this video helped out you guys you know because i know this game is new a lot of you guys are just now playing it on xbox or playstation or xbox or pc uh playstation users if you didn't know now you know what to use especially that linear thing i'm telling you it's gonna make the world a difference and yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope to see you guys kill it on modern warfare i know i'm gonna be i'm gonna be putting out a best of modern warfare beta montage and yeah let me know what you guys think of the game so far and that's pretty much it highlight video hopefully soon have a great rest of your day boys it's been your boy Mars Endo Logan. Peace out.